expert has warned Prince Harry that if he publishes his memoir, there is no way back to royal life. Following the loss of Harry's grandmother Queen Elizabeth II, Tina Brown, a royal biographer, says she no longer believes Harry's tell-all book will ever be published. The Diana Chronicles and the Palace Papers author Tina was giving a speech at the Oxfordshire Literary Festival in Henley. According to The Telegraph, they've taken all this money, and Harry has made this book deal where he's supposed to spill everything about his horrible life as a royal, Tina explained. But now he's actually tortured about it because he understands there is no way back if he does it. If the book continues, I don't think there is any way for Harry to return, she continued. So, in my opinion, the book will never see the light of day. The window is closing, but I always assumed that at some point, a deal would be struck and Charles would be required to repay the advance in order to prevent Harry from writing this book. Tina, the former editor of Tabler, Vanity Fair, and The New Yorker, who was one of the last people to see the Princess of Wales alive in the summer of 1997, said she thinks Diana would have advised her son to find a way back into the family. The memoir had been approved and was scheduled for publishing in the fall, but Prince Harry, who is penning it as part of a nearly £40 million deal, is said to have requested some significant changes. According to a source, Harry has thrown a spanner in the works. In light of the Queen's passing, her funeral, and the accession of his father Charles to the throne, he is eager for improvements. Things in the book would not appear so nice if they are published so soon after these occurrences, according to the author. He demands that some passages be modified immediately. By no means is it a whole new work. He is compelled to change by all means. It might, however, be too late. According to best-selling author Jeffrey Archer, the prince is already penning a new chapter that will focus entirely on his grandmother's passing and the circumstances surrounding her funeral. The initial manuscript was rejected by publishers Penguin Random House as being too touchy-feely and putting too much emphasis on mental health issues, according to the Daily Mail. Although there is no official release date set, sources indicate that publishers want it in stores by Thanksgiving in November so that it will be ready for the Christmas market. Penguin Random House hailed it as an intimate and heartfelt memoir, saying that Prince Harry will offer an honest and captivating personal portrait in a statement announcing the global publishing agreement. However, due to worries that it would contain harmful revelations, Palisades are allegedly contemplating ways to prevent Harry from publishing the book at all. The question being asked inside the palace is, can the book be stopped, according to a friend of the king? Even Harry might not be able to stop it at this point, but the top management believes that complaining in public won't accomplish anything positive. And, despite reports that Harry and Meghan are planning a year-long thaw in their relationships with the rest of the family, their highly anticipated Netflix series could throw another wrench in the plans. As part of their $100 million arrangement with the streaming service, Harry and Meghan, who now live in Montecito with their two children, Archie, three, and Lilibet, one, are working on a documentary. According to Page Six, the project was previously supposed to be accessible in December, following the fifth season of The Crown on November 9. However, insiders reported last week that the couple now intended to make changes to the series, potentially delaying its publication until later in 2023, in order to downplay much of what they have said about King Charles III, Queen Consort Camilla, and the Prince and Princess of Wales. Insiders now tell the tabloid that the couple is having second thoughts about the project, with one Netflix source stating, Harry and Meghan are panicked about trying to tone down even the most basic language. But it's their story, spoken from their own lips. They've made considerable requests to pull back stuff they've contributed, to the extent that some Netflix personnel feel, if granted, it will effectively postpone the project indefinitely, claimed another.